How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters discussion video. As most of you know, recently Bandai Namco has been teasing some big reveals for the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour coming up on the 26th and 27th of January. And even more recently than that, Bandai Namco US put out this tweet saying, You have four days to prepare. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball games, tune into our Twitch live stream on January 14th from 4 to 5 p.m. There will be big reveals, big news, and big interviews with the producers of both Dragon Ball Fighters and Xenoverse 2. So obviously when you take all of it together, you get the idea that there are some big moves happening behind the scenes for Dragon Ball Fighters that one way or another will probably change the game and bring in a whole new fresh breath of life. So because of all this, I figured what better time to talk about what I personally want to see from Dragon Ball Fighters moving forward. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that what I'm about to say here really isn't in any order of importance. If any of these things happen, I would just be genuinely excited to see that. So up first, one thing that I would really love to see happen with Dragon Ball Fighters is some form of rage quitting punishment. It doesn't have to be too fancy. Right now in the game, if you rage quit too often, on your player card whenever you get a match, the opponent will be able to see that you disconnect from matches frequently, and from there your opponent can decide whether or not not they want to take the risk and accept your match. And right now I think that system in place is pretty good, it allows you to pick and choose your matches. Obviously if you see someone with a purple rank that you've seen rage quit before, you'll probably want to avoid that match altogether. That being said though, there's really no excuse as to why when somebody rage quits, they don't lose points and the person who got rage quit on doesn't get points. I really don't see any negatives to this system other than they don't want anybody to grind up ranks unnaturally, but even then they have death matches in this game where you can just continue playing ranked matches for Ever, so really there's already methods to grind and probably a lot faster than just a rage quit method. So yes, I would really love to see them add where if you disconnect from a match, that's it, you just lose the points for that match. Even if it's like an internet problem or something, it's it's just a couple of thousand points. You both go your separate ways, you lose points, they gain points, uh, and it's on to the next match from there. And in the same way that I think if you fix rage quitting, you would better the game without changing the gameplay, I also think another way to do this would be through costumes. That's right. I would love to see costumes added to Dragon Ball Fighters. I get not doing it for Guilty Gear, I also get that it's a lot of development resources, but hear me out, they would just make beyond stupid amounts of money for costumes for Dragon Ball Fighters. They don't have to make one for every character, but seeing Goku in his Yardrat costume and maybe Trunks in his Dragon Ball Super costume, these are things that fans would be willing to pay a lot of decent money for, and I'm sure it would be nice to make some additional money from Dragon Ball Fighters in this way. Uh, really this might just be me hyping it up because it's something that I would love to see. I would probably buy every costume that would come out, but yes, costumes in Dragon Dragon Ball Fighters is something that, personally, I would love to see happen. Okay, and now that we're out of the way with things that aren't inherently tied to gameplay, another one of the biggest things I would like to see that I don't think we ever sadly will unless we get a Dragon Ball Fighters 2 is the characters having more than one assist. Obviously, a system like this has already been in place in other tag team fighters, most notably Marvel vs. Capcom. In that game, you have three choices for assist for characters, Type A, Type B, and Type C. And some other fighting games like Skullgirls even allow you to do your own input and make that the character's assist. Now, I don't think Dragon Ball Fighters should ever really get that in-depth with being able to choose your own assist, but I would definitely like to see at least one more. Uh, this might just be because I'm a Krillin player, and one thing really holding Krillin back is that whenever you switch him out, he becomes super useless. Having that rock or Sensu being assist really isn't helping his case too much when he could have an assist like his hidden missiles uh, in the form of his key blast. That would be a really good assist. Sadly though, in the current Dragon Ball Fighters, that is not really possible for Krillin. And if we're going true wishlist material for Dragon Ball Fighters, if they could give every other character a new assist uh, that's just totally unique and not just another move from their already implemented tool set, that would be amazing as well. Okay, and now we're at the point where it's going to get kind of specific, but I would love to see some form of air defensive option, or even just defensive option added to after you get snapped back because as of right now in the meta a big part of almost every character's game plan is how can I do a combo that'll give me decent damage but also set me up to snap my opponent out at the end of it. In a way snapping out an opponent is almost better than getting a hard knockdown it's just continuous pressure and some characters can do it better than others just instantly giving those characters that can do this a competitive edge over others. Uh, so while I do think it's an interesting aspect of the game one that I find pretty cool I do think at the moment it's a little too strong and an air defense option would probably work out really good here. Or they could just, you know, nerf snapbacks or nerf Piccolo's Hellzone or whatever option they think is best in tuning down this portion of the game, uh, I think would make for a healthier competitive environment. But who knows, maybe I'll be proven wrong at World Tour Finals, uh, but I have a feeling that people are not going to be entirely pleased with the big bowl of loops heading their way. And on a very similar note to the adjustments of air defensive options, I would also like to see just one big balance patch. I know we're still pretty fresh off the most recent balance patch and we're just now coming to terms with 
what it's changed, but I've always loved the way that Street Fighter V, uh, when it switches seasons, it adds some characters, but it also adds a lot of new system mechanics uh, that change up the way that even the oldest characters in the game play. I might not entirely love Street Fighter V, but I do like that even if you're not interested in newer characters, a new season is still something that you can be hyped about, even if you're just playing someone like Ryu or something. And that's pretty much all my major wants for Dragon Ball Fighters. Obviously, there's some characters that I'm really looking forward to as well. Uh, we'll keep that part of the list short, but I would like to see some super characters like Kefla and Jiren. Those are characters that I would be super interested in seeing. Uh, and I'm also super interested in seeing if that wishing thing that Bandai hinted at is actually true. That would be so cool. Uh, and I think it would add a lot of personality to the finals. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my wish list. Make sure you leave me your character wish list down below as well as what you want to see from Dragon Ball Fighters moving forward in the future. Obviously, huge changes are coming for this game. And as somebody that it, this is my favorite game of all time, I couldn't be more excited. And so I'd love to read some comments from other people that are really excited about it as well. While you're down in the comments, if you like these videos and you're excited for the future Dragon Ball Fighters, Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be covering all of it on this channel day in, day out. Uh, it's going to be a lot of Dragon Ball Fighter stuff as well as some Jump Force stuff. Not sure why I mentioned that, but that's coming up as well. Other than that, guys, I have a few videos on your screen of me actually playing this game. If you want to give those a look, make sure to check them out. I'm Dr. Doya. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.